we have a law of physics that describes the refraction that happens when light goes from, from one material to another. It's called Snell's Law, and it's named after Willibrod Snell, a British scientist. And sometimes you see his name written as Snellius, but it's also commonly written as Snell, and this is referred to as Snell's Law. Snell figured this out empirically, and that means he did it by observing the data, by taking measurements by looking at what happened when light rays went into different materials and measuring the angles. This diagram represents a ray of light entering some water. So we'll show the refraction here. And these angles are measured relative to the normal. So the angle that the incident ray, the incoming ray, makes with the normal, we call that I. That's the angle of incidence the angle down here that the refracted ray makes with the normal we call that R the angle of refraction so there's two angles I and R I is the angle of incidence and R is the angle of refraction there's also two materials in this case we have air and water and each material has an index of, of refraction. Each material has a number which we call N associated with that material. So we're going to have an N for the air and an N for the water. And here's how we refer to them. The incident ray is in air. So the index of refraction up here for the material air, we call this Ni. And the index of refraction of air is 1.00. So this I means we're referring to the index of refraction for the material where the incident ray is. And the incident ray is in air. So Ni in this problem is the index of refraction for air. Now we also have water. And the refracted ray here is in the water. So I'm going to say Nr is equal to 1.33 because that's the index of refraction of water. So this little r here refers to the refracted ray, but we're not talking about the ray or the angle, we're talking about N, the index of refraction, and it's the index of refraction N for the material where the refracted ray is, and the refracted ray is in water in this case, which has an index of refraction of 1.33. Now here's Snell's law. He said this, N I times the sine of I That's the sine of that angle equals n r times the sine of angle r. And that fact is all you need to calculate a refraction. Just remember what the different pieces of that equation are. i is the incident angle, so you have the sine of the incident angle, and r is the refracted angle, so you have the sine of, ref of the refracted angle. And these n's are the indices of refraction for the two different materials. Ni is the index of refraction of the material where the incident ray is. And Nr is the index of refraction for the material where the refracted ray is.